Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the Collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the Collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you.
Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
away. Zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? I was down there on a mission. The Vorcha were just in the way. Remind me not to get in your way. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Might be useful. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since even Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match guest technology. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest. And 
job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Wow, not even a smile. So you're here to fight, then? You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Derek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Derek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later.
this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. you patriarch. It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old Secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Or perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Krent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again.
Say something, Commander. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later he was puking blood. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Do I know you? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Not taking any chances. Bastard deserved what he got. The Kanan Alenko Memorial Scholarship has begun sending gifted human biotics to the Ascension Project for care and training. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above? I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. 
Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Arya wants to speak with you, human. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You might have luck going in with the Mercs. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting. But let's move on. Do you need something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to loosen up a little. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. I'm in an important business meeting. Wow. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in.
It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with it for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first, then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. First wave goes in. The infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Do you need something? Lead the Eclipse? Can you figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. 
What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. be hostile if they activate it. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When do the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time.
can use this. Kathka? Sergeant Kathka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Salky? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. And a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Where did I put that Omni tool? Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Hostile! Take it.
Archangel. Shepard. I thought you were dead. Garrus! What are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work. Especially on my own. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shh. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. All right, let's get ready. They'll be here soon. Yeah, that they will. Let's see what they're up to. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. Mm. Mm. Here goes. Really coming. Ooh.
want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. should take care of itself. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping Tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck.
console and close that shutter before they can get through. and seal 
We've got hostiles on the bridge, but we're holding. the shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. He still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Heads up! Damn it, I thought I took that thing out already. They're offloading troops. Watch your back. Oh, 
We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need their resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. 